it is something that was very clearly thought out. And you said something like, we make promises that we never keep. Let me tell you, this is one commitment I made. The universities are here. The vice chancellors are here. They can tell you. The commitments I made on this model were delivered last year, and it is making a difference in our universities. That is the reality. Um, you did say that uh, corruption is a big problem. And I agree with you, 100%. Corruption is a big problem. And I want to thank the university leadership because part of the corruption that has been going on is on even the money that we give to universities. We decided that we are going to be to go using technology. I'm very happy that the university leaders accepted that we use technology. Unfortunately, our secondary schools and primary schools took us to court. They still want to deal in cash. And I know we lose a lot of money there. Corruption is something we must deal with it firmly. I have made proposals on what we should do as a nation. I have had conversations with the Chief Justice. I have had conversations with the leadership of Parliament on what we need to do on legislation to make sure that we deal with corruption. But we can also... Corruption is not just about jailing people. It is about putting systems in place that make sure that corruption doesn't happen. And one of them is to use technology to make sure that we are sure of what we are doing. And that is what this whole system and what we are doing with HELP and what we are doing with COOPS and what we are doing with our universities is all about. I have made it very clear, and I have asked sometimes, sometimes we investigate an incident or a corruption case, and people rush to court, and we are given an order, you cannot investigate so and so. We have situations where we have been told you cannot charge so and so. They've gone to court and obtained an order. We must deal, we must interrogate corruption so that we make, we make sure that we deal with it from all angles.